Hi there guys, I hope you are having a good day. Now Eddie Hearn has given an update on Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury with regards to the site deal. This is something he had to say. He said that the site deal or the contract for the site deal is on its fourth draft or around that. And he reiterated that the date will be 24th of July, 31st of July or August 7th. And he said, quote, it is on the doorstep, ready to be delivered. So it seems very close. Now Frank Warren did say that he hasn't seen the site deal or a contract signed. It's not in place just yet. He's only seen the offer as far as we know because he said that in an interview quite recently. So Frank Warren doesn't seem to be in the loop when it comes to that. I mean he doesn't really want to announce anything until it's 100%. So that is why Frank Warren seems to be I guess you could say negative. I don't really think he's being negative. I just think that he doesn't want to announce anything until it's there to announce, until there is something to say, he's not going to say it. Same as like Tyson Fury, those two are quite similar with that respect. Now, how close is this fight? Because we've been waiting for a long time, it's been like a week, two weeks, and then a little bit longer. So when is the fight actually going to be signed, sealed, delivered, and actually announced? Because we have heard a lot of it's close, we are nearly there, it could be at Wembley, it could be in Saudi Arabia, and apparently it has been confirmed now that this site offer and the place where this fight will go is actually Saudi Arabia and it is up to them what date they choose. So Tyson Fury and AJ have decided on those three dates but it is up to those in Saudi, those who are putting up the money, to decide what the actual date is. Now I'm thinking it's going to be July 24th and often when events come up it's not usually the first date on that lineup, usually it's probably the later date Usually it would be, say, August 7th, but I'm not entirely sure they want to push it back that far because then they are competing with the Olympics. I mean, the 24th of July is the day after the opening ceremony of the Tokyo Olympics, which is the 23rd of July. And, of course, there is the situation with Rob McCracken. Will he be there for AJ? And how much of that training camp can he complete with AJ before having to travel with Team GB? Well... I guess those are problems that need to be dealt with when it comes to that because let's remember the fight isn't 100% on just yet. When it is 100% is after the announcement comes. So it is important that they get that sorted first to make sure the fight is actually on. But it should be, right? I mean, it's gone far enough for them to just say, nah, we're going our own way now. I think it's come far enough for us to guarantee almost that the fight will definitely happen next. And if it doesn't, I'll be quite surprised. Now, of course, Eddie Hearn continues to give update after update without actually announcing the fight. And you do get kind of this pushback from Frank Warren and sometimes Tyson Fury, his father and his team also that, hold on, the fight isn't actually done and agreed just yet. And we do want to fight this year. So Tyson Fury wants to get active. He wants to get out and he wants to fight at the earliest date possible. He would be happy to fight next month in May. So... Tyson Fury is keen to get out as soon as possible and he's not happy with the amount of inactivity he's had since the Deontay Wilder fight, which is understandable, especially going into a big fight with Anthony Joshua, but that's just the way it is. Now is the time to make the fight. I mean, he spoke about the fact that he wants to fight twice this year and there is two fights for Undisputed, one in July or August and one likely in December but hopefully this so-called fourth draft is the final draft and we actually get this fight signed, sealed and delivered ready to be announced very soon I would say next week but how many times have we heard that? So anyway Eddie Hearn did also talk about or briefly touch on his deal with Sky Sports and Zone. he didn't say the names he just said that will be announced in due course, that will come soon, he's not really interested in talking about it, which does mean there is a lot going on behind the scenes, because if he's not going to talk about it, then we know that Eddie Hearn likes to talk about it if he can, but clearly he can't at the moment, so he said that that will be announced very soon. The interesting thing I find about this is, Eddie Hearn is in a difficult situation, it's a nice problem to have, because obviously Sky Sports want to continue boxing on Sky Sports with Eddie Hearn, I mean, Adam Smith even said it would be a disaster to lose Eddie Hearn at this point because boxing is very important to their platform and Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing and the fighters who fight through Matchroom Boxing are integral to that. So they're going to fight to try and keep Eddie Hearn but DAZN are coming in with the big bucks to bring Eddie Hearn to DAZN in the UK as well as in the US. Now 
the situation for Eddie Hearn is if he says, now I'm going to stay loyal to Sky, then DAZN are going to find someone else because they want to be able to stage boxing in the UK. They've also looked into trying to bid for the Premier League. So DAZN are going to come in heavy into the UK market. And there's nothing that Eddie Hearn can do about that. He can only make a decision based off of the offer that is presented to him by Sky Sports and by DAZN. The problem is though, if he says, I'm going to stay loyal to Sky and DAZN do still come in, then that's another platform for Eddie Hearn to compete with. So what does he do? And we know that they have mega bucks in order to compete with signing fighters and things like that. So they will go and drop a nine figure deal on the table of another promoter. And perhaps that will give them the opportunity to compete with Eddie Hearn. I mean, are they really going to give a nine figure deal to another promoter? I mean, that is probably exclusive to Eddie Hearn based off of his track record with them in the US. But still, it's just more competition coming into the UK market that Eddie Hearn can jump on board with, or he can decide to stay with Sky. Then he has to compete with them. So who knows, there could be some way in which they work with DAZN and Sky, unlikely and quite doubtful, but still that is definitely a possibility because there have been events where Sky Sports shows have been shown on DAZN in the US and vice versa with DAZN shows being shown on Sky Sports in the UK, although that has been stopped since the DAZN app has actually launched in the UK. So it does seem doubtful that there could be some kind of working relationship between the two platforms. Now, also Eddie Hearn did actually touch on Savannah Marshall versus Clarissa Shields. Now, he said that Savannah Marshall will box in July and Shields is doing her thing in MMA in June. So the fight could take place in October. He has explained that. Now, there has been a lot of back and forth between these two on social media and I think that is a great fight for women's boxing and boxing as a whole. So this is a fight that I'm definitely interested in, I would imagine you guys are too, because it's a great fight and a great rivalry between these two. It has been building for a while now, over a number of years, so definitely this is a fight that I do want to see, although Savannah Marshall is going to have another outing before then, and Clarissa Shields is having her outing in MMA, then perhaps as she comes back to boxing. Maybe it depends on how she gets on in MMA, I mean, if she does well, perhaps if she wants to remain on that path, as opposed to coming back to boxing. But there is Savannah Marshall there, that big fight to tempt her to come back to boxing after her turn in MMA. Anyway, guys, what are your thoughts on this? Pick your favourite subject and leave your thoughts on it in the comments below. Also, leave a like and grab that subscribe button. Thanks, guys.